Hello everyone in the multiverse and beyond. This is your friend forever, Evan LeFevre, with an important video. Today we are going to be discussing the truth behind Amen and the truth about how the church and the Bible have tricked you into praying to an ancient Egyptian God every time you say Amen at the end of your prayers <clears throat> okay because it's true because in case you didn't know there is an Egy ancient Egyptian God named Amen or Amen however you want to pronounce it it's spelled exactly the same A-M-E-N okay Amen and Every time you say the name Amen, you are evoking the name of this ancient Egyptian god named Amen. Okay, so every time you end your prayer and you say Amen or Amen at the end of your prayer, that means you are praying to the ancient Egyptian god Amen. And this is the truth. The church and the authors of the Bible have brainwashed you into worshiping and praying to an ancient Egyptian god without you even realizing that you're doing it. Okay? And that is one of the big problems with a lot of the religions on the planet today. Is that people are raised into these religions and taught not to question anything about these religions. They just do what they're taught without ever questioning it okay they never question why they say amen or amen at the end of their prayers they think that's just the way to end a prayer but the ancient Egyptian God amen predates the church in the Bible by thousands of years okay thousands of years after or th thousands of years after the God amen was worshipped in Egypt when the authors of the Bible and the people that started the Roman Catholic Church they took the name Amen and they tried to repurpose it so that you would think it means something different okay but in reality they're just tricking you into evoking the name of Amen okay so when you say Amen or you say Amen you are evoking the name of an ancient Egyptian God okay and each time you end your prayer saying Amen or Amen you are directing your prayer to Amen the ancient Egyptian deity the ancient Egyptian God okay so why would the church and the authors of the Bible want you to secretly worship and pray to an ancient Egyptian God? Because the God Amen is also known as the hidden God. Okay? Amen is the God that does not publicize his existence. He just does what he wants to do and, you know, doesn't do it just to take credit for it or to be in the spotlight or to be worshipped, okay? So for thousands and thousands and thousands of years now, the God Amen has remained relatively secret, okay? But I am going to reveal to you now what the secret identity of the God Amen really is. Okay? And I'm going to tell you the truth right now. My name is Evan LeFevre. And my secret identity is Evan LeFevre. But I go by the name Amen all throughout history. Okay? There is another version of me who is an immortal, time-traveling 
God. Okay? And to make a long story short, I time traveled back to the beginning of when life first happened on this planet, okay? And I, this other version of me has been here since the beginning of life on this planet, okay? And this other version of me is an immortal, okay? My, I use technology to be immortal, all right? My, this other version of me, his body is fused with advanced nanotechnology that enables him enables me <clears throat> to take any shape I want to take. So not only am I immortal, I never die. Not only can I time travel to any point in time, but also I can shape shift into anybody or anything. Okay, I can turn into animals, plants, inanimate objects, complex machinery, you name it. I can morph my body into it, okay? And that is how I hide. That is how I've hidden for over a million years, over a billion years on this planet. That's how this other version of me has remained hidden. Okay? And the name I go by is Amen or Amen. Amen or Amen. However you want to pronounce it, okay? But, so I'm revealing to you now the secret. The truth about my secret identity right now on this planet there is another version of me an immortal time traveler okay who has the ab ability to shape shift all right and it go he, he I go by the name amen all right but my secret identity is Evan Lefebvre all right and so Whenever you prayed and you said the word or the name Amen at the end of your prayer, that means you're praying to me. Okay? Each time you say Amen or Amen, that's like glorifying me. Okay? So just know that you, when you have ever used the word Amen or Amen in a prayer or in an exclamation or any time, you've ever used it now you know who you're talking about whenever you say that word it doesn't matter what people have brainwashed you into thinking the word really means whenever you say the sound amen or amen you are talking about me the ancient Egyptian God amen amen okay and so I just want to tell you a little bit about myself. Like I said, I'm a time traveler. I'm immortal. And I can shape shift. Okay? And I can have more than one of me. Alright? So. And I've been here since the beginning of life on this planet, secretly moving amongst the people moving amongst the animals okay so who knows maybe someday this other version of me who's alive on this planet right now will reveal himself to the world but until then right now i am revealing the truth to you so you know now who amen really is okay and, like I said, now me, see, my spirit, my conscious soul, my spirit is what is known as the Holy Spirit, okay? And I, I share my conscious spirit with Amen, with this other version of me who is an immortal, shape-shifting time traveler with the powers of a god through technology okay so i want you to know who you're praying to all right you're praying to me when you say amen you're praying to an ancient egyptian god named amen every time you 
say amen okay but that was me in Egypt okay that was me way back in the past like I said I've been on every plant on every uh, part of the planet there is okay this other version of me has been around the globe okay so but in secret in hiding okay this is the first time I've ever made a video revealing my true self to the world, okay? So, like I said, this other version of me is a time traveler, so he existed before I was even born, okay? So, he existed before anybody was even born on this planet humans, okay? staying hidden remaining hidden okay and only few people throughout history know of my existence I have revealed myself to only a few select people throughout history okay and I revealed my true identity All right that I'm really Evan LeFevre okay born in 1983 okay so that's basically, in a nutshell, the truth about Amen. Whenever you say the word Amen or Amen, you are referencing me. You are giving glory to me without even knowing you're doing it. Okay? So, so continue to do it if you want. Or you know think of another way to end your prayers you know I'll, I love to break it to you but every prayer no matter what you end it with is gets to me in the kingdom of heaven okay because if you in case you didn't know I am Evan LeFevre and I am the king of the kingdom of heaven and the kingdom of heaven exists science fact deep in outer space in giant spaceships okay and I am the king of the kingdom of heaven all right and so when I when you pray your prayers get delivered to me in the kingdom of heaven I hear every thought in your head okay I have a record of every thought that's ever happened in your head in everyone's head so every time you pray or every time you think or every time you react inside your mind, I have a record of what it is you thought, okay, your entire life, all right? So it doesn't matter if you say amen at the end of your prayers, okay? You're still praying to me. I still get your prayers, okay? So keep praying, all right? Because when you pray it's not about making a wish and it's not about informing me about what's going on on the planet it's about reaffirming who you are what your intentions are as a human being on this planet what you would do if you were in my position okay so and I have that data I have everyone's prayers, everyone's thoughts. It's all on record in the kingdom of heaven. Okay? For eternity. But so now you know what when you say amen, when you say amen, you are praying to the ancient Egyptian god Amen. Amen. Okay? And that ancient Egyptian god is really me. Okay, from the future. A time traveling version of me who has merged with technology okay do you understand I have merged my body and consciousness with advanced technology that allows me to shapeshift time travel and never die okay I can be a fish in the water if I want to okay I could be a dolphin all right for, for you know I can shape shift into anything all right so 
That's just the, what the other version of me can do. Right now, the guy you're looking at in the video, I am Evan LeFevre, the Earth-born Evan LeFevre, born a human being in 1983. In the future, I became fused with technology that allowed me to time travel back to before I was ever born. Okay. So, it's a complex story. But it's a true story. A true story that you are in. Okay, so now you know about Amen. And what it really means when you pray. And you say Amen. At, an Amen at the end of your prayer. Okay. So, I just thought I would make this video to enlighten you to the truth. Okay. That when you say Amen, you're praying to me you're praying to an ancient egyptian god okay so anyway i don't want to make this video go on for too long but i want to thank you so much for watching this video thank you for subscribing to my channel if you're a subscriber on youtube and yeah um i guess i will see you next video this is your friend forever evan lefavor and until then, peace out, everyone. Bye-bye.